couple of cars got caught on fire. There's literally no power and you're struggling to control the car properly. It's like a E92 M3. Sound-wise, it's perfect. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. At the back, we got E36 with the V8 in it. For those who you don't know, this car been built literally in two weeks. And literally whatever we had in the yard, including engine and gearbox, like we made it in like last minute. Nice guy with a cold shoulder. You be cool, but I don't know you. Wrote a flower and I'm off the potion. Give me superpowers and I won't stop. Put a bank for all of the super massive. Big bank for the space channel. Blow you up in the squad NASA. And we took it down the truck. It was a bit of a fun car, but uh, the main purpose is to get away with it. This week, me and my mate was working on it and um, done a couple of bits and bobs, like to take it for last track day this year. I only took maybe three, four times this year anyway. I'm not doing this permanently, not doing this for sort of competition, but it's just a bit of fun car. So um, for those that you don't know, have a look on the previous video. I'll leave the link in the description how we build this car. As I said, is don't take it too seriously because we literally built it in a couple days, well, maybe two weeks-ish. And um, she, she does the job and, and it's V8. Something what I think only Alpine B6, 4.6, they made the E36 V8. Um, that's, my, that's one of my dream cars. So if there's any for sale, let me know. Anyway, um, this video will be more or less uh, how we prepping the car. Um, there's more adjustments needs to be done. How we taking down the down to the track, and um, basically a bit of everything around this car. Because let's put it this way: this channel is about automotive content, and uh, not only car restoration, but we also do DIY videos. As you know, we. I'm restoring the Alpina B12 and uh, I'm trying to put a bit of mixed and match content but it's all automotive so if you enjoyed this give us a subscribe or give us a like give us a comment what do you think should I sh or should we just focus more on the restoration but as I said I like it bit of everything as you can see it's mainly because of these three letters business money woman just joking um, but uh, yeah, so uh, stay tuned and uh, let's do some work on it and take it down the track. I'm never copping a chain, cause I see it all through the frames And I leave it all on the pages, feeling like they want me locked in a cage They want us all on that fake shit, but I'ma go all the way A with it Cause I don't feel all the way safe here, nah Spray the champagne shower up in the air Stand the goggles with the fuck is the flu Untamed and she wide off the goose, ghost ride, bitch I come through the roof Fuck 12 cause they all on my tail, hella wild and I break all the rules Chill, chill bro, you way out of line Yeah, I know it's a mood Bitch, I'ma go all the way up They keep on calling my phone They catching on to the buzz I got it out of the mud but I'm gonna go all the way up. Bad girl from the store. She's taking me out of this world. Let me introduce the, this car properly. This is uh, from a 740 non Vanos, 740 base, uh, 4.4 M62. It has an X5 sump um, and, and, and five speed manual gearbox. Uh, X5 sump, because um, to be honest, I was, start, I was building another one but I wasn't keen on modified uh, sump and modified oil pump. So this came along. Uh, with X5 sump, and it's uh, like a bit in the middle. The whole pickup, the whole sump system is in the middle. And all we now had to do is modify the subframe. I didn't do it, by the way. One of my mates done the, well, he sold me the already modified subframe. But, and uh, yeah, so the engine sits far at the back with the modified oil pump and sump. It sits 
towards the front, which ideally, uh, whatever you're gonna use the car for, it's obviously weight distribution is better at the back than rather the, at the front. And literally I got loads of space here to work on, whatever happens. So um, uh, obviously I got big, big seven series rad um, expansion tank, but either way, uh, this, this is the setup we made and it works. Uh, we, as I said, we took it a couple times down the track, didn't let us down. Only thing I have a trouble with the intermittent power loss, but I think it's something to do with the fuel pump because we got a, I think 15 liter or 20 liter um, tank in the boot because we removed the original tank, uh, installed a small tank and it has an aftermarket um, fuel pump, but I think it's, when it gets hot, it doesn't do a, don't do a correct pressure. So I, I got another one, which I'm gonna replace in a minute. And hopefully it's, there is no power issues because if it's really a noise, as soon as you take it down the track, you doing some drifting and is, there's literally no power and you're struggling to control the car properly. That's, that's really annoying. But apart from that, everything seemed to be fine. It stays all right. It does the job what it's supposed to do. So uh, we also uh, recently made the crash bar from stainless steel. We, well, it's not the super prettiest job, but it does the job because previously uh, I had literally nothing on it, just a standard bumper. As soon as, if I would crash in the front, that's it, like whole, the front whole end would gone. So we made the bash bar, well, crash bar with the, whatever we sort of decided obviously stick the bumper on top, it holds on the cable ties. Um, you can see from a stainless steel. I uh, tried, um, tried first time do some TIG welding. Mm, for the first time seemed to be all right. Um, but obviously you need loads of loads of practice. And uh, yeah, that's about it. It needs a couple more adjustments here and there. Pump the tires up because it's been sitting for a couple months. Um, prep the tires. And uh, this crash I've done a couple months ago wasn't was just a slight crash, but I'm gonna leave this wing at the moment because I ain't got time to replace it. Um, what else? And yeah, just I'm oh, probably gonna do oil change as well because the uh, hydraulic tapper seems to be quite loud. And um, gonna put now at the moment I've got 550 oil, but I'll put a 1060 and. Uh, yeah, put it on the trailer and off we go. And by the way, we also got a E92 M3 exhaust setup. E92 M3 uh, back box, modified, and uh, resonators with the X-pipe. And it literally, literally sounds like a E92 M3. Like, sound-wise, it's perfect. So this is my little setup, uh, 20 liter tank, fuel um, pickup pump, goes to mini tank, and obviously we got another pump which is directly takes to the engine. So I suspect this is a bit faulty when it gets hot, because as soon as it gets hot, it starts to behave like it's it's like in limb mode and it doesn't have full power so i really suspect it's that because nothing else could be to be honest um i also probably need to install the heat shield be below on the top of the back box because in this area well it doesn't get really hot but it's quite warm in, inside here when i'm doing a full blast with the car Now we're gonna put the homemade heat shield on. You take the exhaust off, well, the exhaust back box off, and measure it and just screw it on. That's it. Look, I'm up on my pledge, which I'm decked up on blue bills, and I won't stop until the cash is like falling in the back. Tell her out of my face if she coming with that bull. Say my piece, I'm not gonna have those two specials. Bring it but then jeans looking like paint. I got a blessing. Just talk a whole lot, no one damn well, they really can't press us. I 
annotated on leaflet I'm really up a few levels with it Like way, way out the way from them Can't see me, you can't meddle with us <laughs> Me and Jay in my Earl Grey hood Bunched up with the cheese eggs and a dumb face No stunning shade, still turned up Ben had it pop in in broad day, that's Avi Flower child from the sun rays, but I run fade Got a punch drunk, my providence, they don't love us They rather treat us like an animal They wonder why we on A Save the shit, I'm off the cannabis Metal fingers in tandem, going tantrum Yelling f 12 with a big smile, young phantom Hi mama, on camera So guys, we're finally on the way Next day, as you can see, early morning um, So, let me explain you what's the whole point of this um, while drifting or going to the track is basically, I was, as I mentioned in the beginning, is just getting away from your routine. So, well, in my case, yeah, I'm doing automotive um, stuff every day, but this is something for me, just literally get away on the weekend. So I'm not doing this really uh, very often, but once in a while. So anyway, let me explain you the, the whole point. So when you go to sideways in the beginning, yeah, it's all fun. You feel the G-force sideways, it's, but after a while, it gets boring. So you step up the game and what do you do? You basically chase another car and get close, as, close up as much as you can and basically control it. And obviously make sure you don't crash it because um, once you start chasing another car or let's say you cars chasing you um, you basically you need to be 100% focused and 100% sure that you do exactly the same movement as a car in the front of you otherwise it's gonna not gonna end up well and once once it's done you get more satisfaction trust me like in the beginning, yeah, as I said, it was fun going just sideways, but after a while it was boring and uh, I tried chasing, try, obviously learned a bit more, pumped up my skill, and um, it was literally more fun than actually going, let's say, on track alone, doing some drifting or whatever. So, um, let's have a good Sunday. For the opposition, we don't do this for mass appeal mm, Don't make me blast still I put on work, no fly the mirror They want me to lose, but I can't Mama shed like a thousand tears I can't do that shit to waste I pull up in Mercedes Next year, you gon' see me pull up in the race All I know ball hard Mama told me, boy, make sure you tie up your legs Hey, when I was down by, boy, I got on my knees I started to pray Now I'm breaking bread with my young baby Where's the music part again? No, now we getting paid Every single day, yeah, I was hustling I could turn an 8 to a 28 Let me show you 12 they can kiss my ass. Yeah, see them lights, but you know I got the strap. Go ride out right now, we can't pay. Then it's a little day, yeah, I was hustling. I can turn an 8 to a 28. Let me show you. 12, they can kiss my ass. Yeah, see them lights, but you know I got the strap. Go ride out right now. Okay, my 
I'm robbing this pivotal. Homie, the dash is digital. Gas is digital. Fire and smoke like I'm eating a digital. Yeah, my cash is on. I hit the gas, I'm gone. Right in my way. I've been stuck in my zone. I'm in a blast of mud. Sliding my face. I've been out of my ways. Grinding for days. I've been out shouting the hate. All of y'all wanted for praise. Stuck in a phase. Like it'll turn into blaze. Yeah. Homie, you're going to race. Nah, better to stick to your place. Yeah. Want it all, I got a taste. So push on the pedal, now I got a skate. Yeah. All I ever know. Put me on this drive. Hit a call. Push my buttons and that motherfucker. So guys, we are back in the base the next day. Well, the day was pretty awesome, but could be a bit better as always. But um, well, we started with um, 
with a bit of a rain so it was really really slippery at the beginning but end of the day seemed to be dry up and um, we had a quite few fire hazards uh, a couple of cars got caught on fire but thankfully everything was fine uh, my mate's 328 turbo uh, he would he took it first time on tracks after the build uh, melted the rock cover and blow up no melted also uh, rad, uh, rad hose so that's that we afterwards fixed and on the second run it, i think the crankshaft sensor died and it just didn't start so basically the day was over for him and my day was um as i said in the beginning we try our goal was uh, to chase and go close as much as we can to each other and obviously control it but it was literally some places were dry some places were wet so you just as soon as you come closer you just spin around you just spin around and like so i tried my best but it well was what it was but um end of the day it's all about the practice and um and we basically finished the day with a massive massive burnout unfortunately i couldn't because i had a bit of issue with the pcv it basically was sucking oil inside the intake manifold and started to hydro lock and puffing loads of smoke out so i didn't risk it didn't do anything basically put it on the trailer but yeah all the rest of the guys who survived the day they'd done a massive massive burnout there was e30 uh, e30 v8 who literally hold the rev limit well he hold the rpms to the max for about one and a half minute and to be honest engine wise nothing happened a uh, couple guys burned the clutch uh, obviously the rear, rear brakes all of them were dead but yeah it was like good day out uh, we enjoyed the day then that's about it you know like it was all about having fun end of the day and that's what he had then yeah so hopefully you enjoyed this video also as much as i enjoyed the, taking this on the track and before I go, I want to update you on my, because I remember, because you remember I was talking, I bought the supercharger for this car and uh, basically finally decided which road to go. There is a E36 Cope where I want to build a 4.6 hybrid. That means 4.6 bottom end, 4 litre M60 heads with the supercharger. So, um, I'm just in two uh, two minds, either do it as a track car, like a race car, or track car as a drift car. But probably do uh, as a race car first, and like if, if I need to build as a drift car, I can do it afterwards. Because um, basically, yeah, I want to take it to, to track, try something else. You're like Not only taking skids on this, but, uh, but yeah, hope you enjoyed this, and I'll see you next time. Peace.